this video, we make some modifications, actually the final modifications to the grizzly bars on the conveyor on the Easton made 2228 with attached conveyor. And uh, then we spend the second part of the video splitting some really big oak rounds and showcasing what this splitter with the box wedge can do. Hope you enjoy. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Old Guy Firewood. My name is Dick and um, really appreciate you stopping in today. Uh, a couple videos ago, we talked about the grizzly bars that I built for the Easton Made 2228 wood splitter and uh, they work great. Uh, I have had a little bit of a problem though with pieces that come off and catch on this little piece of angle iron here. Uh, let me give you a little better close up look. When I designed these, I thought the wood would come off and hit somewhere in here. I didn't realize the edges were going to hit right there. I could have moved this up further, but uh, I'm not going to do that now. What I'm going to do that I think will fix the problem is something that uh, Shive did. And uh, if you haven't watched his channel, you need to go ahead and, and take a look at uh, Outside with Shive. Um, basically, put a little piece of, of uh, flat steel across here at about a 45 degree angle like this so that uh, anything that comes off that might go down in this crack will hit that piece of steel and be directed up over the top and on out. Here's a piece of flat steel I found in my scrap pile I think will work. Position it somewhere right like that. Tack that in there. I'm finally starting to get caught up around here. Uh, the lawn work is just about back on track, and uh, we got all our fertilizing done, and weed control, and sprayed post emergent for weeds, and we're mowing like crazy because the grass is growing like crazy. Uh, man, I wish I had my MIG welder out here. I prefer that to the stick welder, but. It's buried back behind my wood miser sawmill that I'm putting together. So uh, we'll just have to go with this. Let me get... I learned to uh, weld on a stick welder years ago. An uh, old Italian fella when I lived up in New York actually worked in the uh, shipyards during World War II building ships. And uh, he was a great welder. And he taught me how to stick weld. All right, that seems pretty, pretty well attached. Put a couple little supports on here. I think we'll be good. All right, let's get this thing hung back on the conveyor and uh, we'll give it a try. Grab an IBC tote and stick it up under here. I mentioned earlier that I'm finally getting caught up with my lawn work. As most of you know, I have a little part time landscape maintenance business. And uh, yeah, getting caught up with that. Uh, and all the spring chores are about done. And I sure am glad because uh, I've been splitting some wood and cutting some wood, but. Uh, I really want to get back into the production mode and um, 
I had a guy, uh, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, uh, you've seen the tree service that I work with, uh, Forrest Tree Service. The guy's name is Forrest, first name, uh, pretty appropriate. But um, one of his employees, um, AJ, uh, runs the loader for him. He's a loader operator. And uh, because of all the rain we've been having, uh, they haven't been doing a whole lot of tree work. And AJ had uh, talked to me a couple times and asked if I needed any help cutting, uh, cutting up logs and cutting them into rounds that he'd be willing. So he came out yesterday and uh, he cut, did a great job. I mean, he cut up a bunch of wood. Most of this wood is oak. And there's some really good size rounds in here. And by good size, I mean big. Um, not the kind of thing you'd want to be splitting on a horizontal splitter. Uh, and the box wedge makes it a whole lot easier. So, um, and the box wedge is designed, um, or ideal anyway, for, for this type of wood. So um, I'm going to put some of these on the log lift, get the splitter going, and we'll run some through. Check out the little ramp on the grizzly bars. Make sure that that's doing what it's supposed to do. And uh, we'll go ahead and get at least one tote filled up before I call it a day. Get into some of these bigger ones. This is where the box is really shiny.
guys, if you're dealing with big wood, like I do, uh, a lot of this is tree service wood. Um, it's straight, it'll split good, but it's just about impossible to handle or to manhandle with a horizontal splitter. If you're dealing with this kind of wood, this is the machine that you need right here. Easton made 2228 with a box wedge and a conveyor. You need a conveyor, whether it be attached conveyor or detached conveyor, to move the wood away from the from the uh, table after it goes through the box wedge. But uh, this machine, the 2228, the 1222, uh, will do the same thing with the box wedge. Um, but if, as I say, if you're dealing with this kind of wood, this is the machine that you need. It just, uh, I split this toe to wood. And let's walk up here and see what we've got. I split this toe to wood in under 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's tremendous production for one old guy working alone and I'm not even breathing heavy. Uh, no exertion really on my part. The log lift lifts the big rounds. Uh, that 2228 will push them on through. The box wedge busts them up. The pullback arm pulls them back. I don't. I don't have to touch it once I get it up there in the cradle. Clifford, I think you found one you like there, buddy. The modifications on the grizzly bars, uh, putting that little ramp behind that cross piece, seem to have worked. Not getting anything stuck there. Got a few pieces here that didn't go in the tote. I'll rearrange this a little bit. I've definitely got a got a full tote here. hold this camera and straighten these out at the same time. But there you have it, one 330 gallon tote full of beautiful split some red oak a little bit of white oak a little bit of hickory in there and uh, that didn't take I, I don't know 15 minutes at the most and that's working alone and um, as I say pretty effortlessly so yeah this is a machine for the job well folks the sun's starting to go down in North Carolina here been a great day uh, got a lot done uh, glad I could bring you along Splitting some of this big, big wood, these big rounds on the 2228 with the box wedge. And um, got a ton more here to do and a ton more back in the woods, uh, AJ cut up that I haven't dragged out here yet. But if you like this sort of thing, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Press the, the like uh, thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. And um, uh, please come back. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and be sure and push that subscribe button. Um, really appreciate each and every one of you. But uh, for now, I think that'll do it for today's video. And as I always say at the end of all my videos, and particularly as an old guy, the best advice I can give you is to keep moving. So keep moving till the next one, and we'll see you then. Thank you.